Good evening. I'm Bill Paul. And I'm Jackie Perrin. We all know that our bodies need iron. In fact, we often try to get a little extra. Much of our food is iron fortified. Some people take supplements. But you might be surprised to know that for many people, too much iron can be very serious. They have a common genetic disorder which causes an iron overload in their bodies. Its effects can be debilitating and in many cases, deadly. The disease is called hemochromatosis. And if you've never heard about it, you're not alone. Many of the 75,000 Canadians who actually have hemochromatosis don't even know it. But the real problem, even though it's quite common, too many doctors know too little about it. It's, it's been devastating because it, it affects you uh, physically and mentally, sexually. Um, uh, it can be just a really devastating disease. There was definitely a time where uh, we didn't know if David was going to live. David and Pat Fleming learned six years ago that he has hemochromatosis. It was after a long period of unexplained illness. It's the kind of disease that sort of creeps up on you slowly. And I think for years before I was diagnosed, uh, I felt absolutely horrid looking back. And, and I started to think that that was normal, that, that feeling bad was normal. Eventually, gallbladder surgery revealed that something was very wrong. They thought I had cancer to start with because my, all my internal organs looked so bad. And they biopsied them all and found out that I didn't have cancer, but they were full of iron. The iron had seriously damaged his liver. He was told he had cirrhosis. And when I woke up in post-op, the surgeon came and said to me that I was an alcoholic. He asked me, he said, well, you, what do you drink, 40 ounces a day? And I said, you know, I don't drink. And, um, and he said, well, until you can admit that, uh, I don't even want to talk to you. Actually, it was several days. It took, I, I had to convince the doctors that if he had cirrhosis, it was not from alcohol. The Fleming were living in Salmon Arm, B.C. at the time. It was a family physician in the end who did some research and came up with the possibility of hemochromatosis. David Fleming was sent to Vancouver, where the diagnosis was confirmed. It's a story that's familiar to many people. They've been accused of being alcoholics, when in fact their cirrhosis is a symptom of another disease. It's the hemochromatosis that causes iron buildup and damage to the liver. Most of us are able to excrete the excess iron we don't need, but people with hemochromatosis just keep on absorbing and storing the iron and over the years develop iron overload. The excess iron accumulates in tissue and body organs. In the pancreas, it causes diabetes. In the heart, it can cause a regular heartbeat and shortness of breath. In the pituitary gland, it causes impotence in men, menstrual irregularities in women. A darkening or bronzing of the skin is associated with hemochromatosis. So is arthritis. But the most common storage site is the liver, and the cirrhosis that results can lead to liver cancer. Hemochromatosis is not a rare disease. The research shows that among Caucasian populations, between one in 300 and one in 400 people suffer from hemochromatosis. The incidence of the disease is believed to be low in other groups. However, a lot of research is yet to be done. What we know is that among genetic disorders, hemochromatosis is one of the most common. We're all familiar with cystic fibrosis, for example. Well, hemochromatosis is five times more common. 